Hey guys, Sean Ray here for Sean Ray TV. I'm joined by the 1994 NPC USA overall champion, former Mr. California, California surfer boy, Dennis Inhuman Newman by way of Salinas from back in the day. Dennis, welcome to my home. Thank you. Beautiful home. All right. I like it. Dennis is here visiting from Colorado. Unfortunately, he's a, he's a Chargers fan, so we'll forgive him for that. But back in the day, he used to be somebody. We, uh, we used to train a little bit together. Dennis started off bodybuilding as a teenage USA champion, I believe, discovered by Lou Zwick. Trained with myself and my former training partner, Troy Zuccolato. Uh, wins the uh, USA championships, gets diagnosed with leukemia, and uh, that was pretty much the end of his bodybuilding career. But he did have a comeback uh, in the 1996 Mr. Olympia, made a cameo appearance, and then you did go on to compete as a professional. Tell us about the road to recovery. Well, after, uh after I got that chance, uh, an invite from Joe Weider to go to the Olympia, I, uh, it was controversial and a lot of things were going on and saying that uh, they didn't want me to do the contest because uh, of my, my illness and, and uh, they thought it was a, a bad idea and stuff. And here I already gotten ready for 12 weeks out from the show and you know I wasn't at my best, but it was something to kind of show the fans that uh, here I'm back and I'm not gonna let this disease take over. And, and uh, you know, take over my life or whatever. And I just wanted to get back to where I was. And uh, obviously the two years that I, I was away from the sport, just recovering and trying to get healthy again, uh, the, the, the sport evolved so much. So it was like, you know, to catch up to where I was at the, where I left off was just, it was, it was just, it was, it was gonna be very unhealthy. For me. Well, it was a crazy time, cause you're talking about 1996, which you did wind up guest posing and amazingly had a, a, a miraculously speedy recovery considering it was leukemia you were battling with. We saw Don Long come on as a national champion. Of course, Phil Hernan came into the mix and uh, some other bodybuilders joined the fray. Um, Dennis James, Melvin Anthony, all these guys started coming in. And then the landscape was clean, you were gone. I know you did suffer a pet tear, yeah. Um, tell me how you exited the sport. Well, you know, after having a pec tear, uh, I think it was in 97, uh, you know, I was at uh, Venice Golds and working out with Chris Cormier and we were doing, I think it was like 200 pound dumbbell presses. And, and for some reason I felt really strong that day. And uh, and I when I was coming down, I heard the tear and I thought it was a very bad pull and hoping that it was a pull and, uh, and, and uh, you know, it, being in Venice, somebody in the back of their car had a, 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 a sling and, and an ice pack all ready to go. Like, You're good. <laughs> yeah. And so I thought, you know, I just need to, you know, stay off it. And then a couple of days later or whatever, I saw a little blood underneath my pack and stuff, and I knew it was a tear. And and uh, I think I, I tore the, the, the pec minor, not the, the pec major. I still have my pec underneath. It's just this one right here. I have a hole right here. So after that, uh, you know, being a perfectionist in, in your physique and building it up and having the momentum to get where you're at, and all of a sudden now you're starting over with a torn pec and standing on stage with a pec, it, it just it just didn't look right. And, and I knew I had to exit the sport. It was the end of it because I, you know, not being number one or at least inquiring to be number one in the future, just I, I can't. I, just second place and all that other stuff was just not in the in the making. Well, let me frame it up a little bit because now you're talking 97, and uh, that's Dorian's last Mr. Olympia six times, and then you had uh, Big Nasser, and of course 1998, Ronnie Coleman came on and changed the landscape, went on to win eight consecutive Mr. Olympias while you were being sidelined. I would exit the sport in 20, uh, 2001, and Flex Wheeler would leave in 2003, and shortly thereafter, Kevin Verona was gone in 2004, along with Chris Cormier. So all those guys that came up, uh, California champions, myself, Flex, Chris, you, were done. Um, were you able to be a fan of this sport, or were you turned off after you couldn't compete anymore? No, I've always been a fan of the sport, and, and uh, you know, everybody, it, it just looked like bodybuilding took another level. It, 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 it was all the size guys and all that kind of stuff, and, and a lot of the, the classic physiques um, were, were being beat by these, these, these huge you know, 300 pound, you know, giants. And, uh, you know, I just, I just you know, health wise, I, I just had a second chance at life. Um, you know, it, it went to my head thinking, you know, every, all my fans were all saying, hey, you could do it, man. You could beat all these guys, you know, and it's like, the reality of it was, it was just, it wasn't, it was over. So, was over. 
the pinnacle of your career had to be the USA, being on the cover of the magazines, being the golden boy. The down part had to be getting diagnosed with leukemia. The comeback obviously was short-lived because then you had the pet tear. Um, and then you went into personal training and you've been kind of floating around, helping people out, training and doing things. What's happening now? Well, now I, um, I'm with a company called Florida Alternative Meds uh, and uh, Weight Loss and um, doing anti-aging. We, uh, we supply people with, uh, with uh, testosterone therapy, growth hormone therapy, vitamin injections, stuff like that. And, you know, it's working out really great. Very popular. We're going to see Dennis Newman in Hawaii. Absolutely. November We're the 10th at the Sean Ray Classic, Maybe as a matter of fact. yeah. Surf a little bit. You surf know? a little bit. Get your surfing get groove on. surfing groove. And uh, we'll bring you up to uh, speed with more from Sean Ray TV with some future uh, interviews with other where are they now type personalities. But right now, Dennis, how old are you now? I'm 48 years old. Dennis, 48 years young, still hanging in there. What do you think of Dexter Jackson at like 50 years old doing the Olympia? She's going to be like ageless Albert. Uh, are you in agreement that Phil Heath is the rifle? Mr. Olympia is one seven. He's going for number eight in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I think I think he is. Um, you know, I mean, T Kai Green looked really good. I guess he's not competing in the yeah. Olympia anymore. And um, but you know, it's it's it's. Uh, I think it's peaked. I think the bodybuilding. I don't think you can get any better. I mean, if you're taking aesthetics and size and quality and everything else, Phil has it all. Uh, and and there's a lot of other guys. It's kind of like apples and oranges. Whatever you feel like that's good that day because they all look great. So you think he'll tie the record of number eight with Lee Haney and Ronnie Coleman? I think so. All right, I Dennis's so. prediction, Phil Heath going for number eight in Las Vegas. We'll be bringing more interviews from Las Vegas with where are they now, who are they now, right here at Sean Ray TV. For Dennis Newman, I'm Sean Ray.